Say marijuana keeps me high. Oh yeah. You don't know you're watching the sauce. This is Jack here, see? Keep the little sauce. Keep it saucy, spicy. You're watching the sauce, right? Kenya, we're there alive. Going down. Chaka chaya. Boom boom. Hi, Jackie. Welcome to Kenya. Yes, my dear. I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Yes. You're with the sauce. You're here on Capital FM, and you're here to promote your new album, Ro Royal Soldier. Soldier. Yes. Congratulations on that. Tell us a bit about it. Thank you very much. Well, Royal Soldier is just an album. Uh, idea is coming from Mansa Musa, the greatest, richest king I ever walked Africa, and still the richest man to date. So it's just like about royalties and me and my friends. My last album was just about me and it's called The Cure. So this is about me and some royal soldiers. So I have like uh, me and Damien Marley with a song called Marijuana and me and Tory Lanez with a song called I Wish. Me and Popcorn with a song called Life Is Real. And um, me and Maya with a song called Only You. Me and Junior Reed and Yamabola and Capitan with a song called Street Kings. And the list goes on with a lot of collaboration, but it's just me and females, and we are, I got a, like three, four females yeah. collaboration on the album. Yeah. I got Maya from the US, our R&B singer Maya, nom Grammy nominated singer. So the album is coming out the 30th of August. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now we're gonna maybe do a launch in Kenya before we go. And um, yeah, this coming week we, we should be able to um, make an official announcement on the social media about the album release date and uh, the pre-order um, links so everyone could have to try to if you want to make a pre-order from now for your favorite song or the album you know yeah. Yeah. which one is your favorite song from the album I have a lot of favorite well I like uh, marijuana is one of my favorite I wish with me and Tori Lane is one of my favorite and there's a song called brighter days is one of my favorite and um, yeah. Street Kings is one of my favorites. There's a lot of favorites on this album, to be honest. It's hard to pick. Yeah. Um, you mentioned uh, that the album is called Royal Soldier. Yes. You embody a lot of royalty. You, you ooze royalty in your, so. in your music and in your demeanor. I think so. Maybe you can tell us why, why stick to that. You've stuck to it from the beginning. Well, you know, I, I, am, I believe and I'm a true African descendant. My name is Sikaturi Alcock. My father named me from Sikaturi, which is, was the president of Guinea once. And um, I feel so connected to my motherland. And um, this is the land of royalty, the land of kings. And I know that maybe in my first life, I was a king. That's what my, my spiritual inner self tells me. So that's why I come in this life, pursuing the life of a king again as royalty. Because I know we are all royalties. So I just uh, recognize the royalty within me for uh, some time now and insist to, you know, stay on top of that. So it also comes out in my ideas and my work as the Royal Soldier. And I also have a title track for the album called Royal Soldier. Yeah. Your music has no shelf life, no. it's for the ages. Yes. What's your secret for that? Well, my secret is just to make beautiful music so people could sing along because, I mean, a lot of people make some music that it's like, it has shelf life, but when you join a certain syndicate of music or a certain group of style of music, it's just a style of music and a choice of words, you know? And if you use certain beat that is, can be timeless, the words, words are timeless, melodies are timeless. So I always choose the melody and the words it's to live in the people's hearts. So no matter what generation comes up, they could be singing along just like Bob Marley. And even more, you know? Yes, because Bob Marley is just part of the mission in the early days, but it doesn't end there. So we have to continue the music and the culture and the, the legacy. Great. You have many songs that you've written, some we don't even know about, I'm sure. Which song out of the ones that have been published or have been released to the public do you wish had more listenership? There is a song called Nothing is Impossible. 
I think the world should listen more of that song and I think there's a song called um, Mother Earth. I think people should listen to more of that song. It's all about the environment and keeping the environment clean and I'm on a mission to keep getting the environment clean too. So this Mother Earth song, I was on a mission trying to get it, you know. But it's a, it's like five years ago song, but I think the world still could get more of that song. Yeah. You have a family, your daughter yes. is so beautiful. We see her on Instagram. Has, has that affected your music in any way, being a father? Well, it strengthened me. I know that you, know, you have kids out there and, you know, just keep doing what you're doing good. Mm. You know what I mean? Because I'm always wanting to have kids, so I'm happy to, to be a dad. Yeah. Really happy about it. I'm excited about having kids a long time. You know what I mean? So when I realize I could make kids, you know, make me happy is another level in my life to celebrate. Your album has many collaborations, but one that has stuck out the most so far is the one with uh, Damian Mali, Junior yes. Gong. Um, maybe you can talk about using your voice and your platform uh, and lending it to a cause such as uh, marijuana legalization and other, other, course, other, that's other the factors. That's the mission. That, yeah. that song is a message. It shows you that marijuana frees the mind and keeps you high and high in life. It's good to walk high in life because when you stay high, you, you maintain high position and high mentality. And you know, high maintenance, high vibrations. <laughs> and we need that. So, and Damien Marley is breaking it down and telling you about the things that it could do. CBD and it could make, it could replace petroleum. The seeds can make oil. So there's a lot of things marijuana can do and they don't want to tell us, but Kenyan, we need to know that and Kenyan government needs to invest in marijuana, plant up a lot of it, so give people employment and export a lot of it because everybody is exploiting it. And America is doing it, Canada is doing it, and Africa is the lands of the kings, which is the richest soil. Can plant anything and get more richness out of it. So we need to utilize the marijuana project to please. I hope Kenyan government can get into this. Yes. Well said. Uh, last questions. We're going to play a game based off some of your songs. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say like love is and you're going to fill in the blank. So love is? Much more than life. Corruption is? Uh, like corruption. The greatest enemy. Freedom. <laughs> freedom. Freedom is? A man best friend. <laughs> Marijuana is? The the number one healing, the healer of the world, the medicine for the mind. And finally, Rasta is? Love for the world yes. and the people. Job bless. Yeah, man. Thank you. Such Thank a you pleasure. Too. Me too. Nice to meet you. Me Welcome to Kenya and keep coming back. I will. Yes. It's a pleasure too. And we will see each other again and again. Say so marijuana keeps me high. Oh yeah. You don't know you're watching the sauce. This is Jack here, see? Keep the little sauce. Keep it saucy, spicy. You're watching the sauce, right? Kenya, we're there alive. Going down. Shaka Chaya. Boom, boom.